So Alex, we're here at your, at your house in, in Paris. Uh, thanks for inviting me. Uh, you are the, one of the co-founders of, uh, of Co-op Cycle. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me what is uh, Co-op Cycle? Well, uh, Co-op Cycle is both an open source uh, software uh, can be used, which can be used only by co-ops operating on the uh, bike delivery sector. And it's also a non-profit organization uh, who tries uh, to make uh, a platform co-op real, uh, like an, a non-profit organization of 20 people. And where came the idea from? Uh, the idea, it came uh, at the very beginning. It came from uh, uh, the fact that um, we can't uh, continue with platform employing, well, not employing, but uh, having uh, uh, independent workers, uh, not having any decision on the algorithm, not having their word to say on how the platform works, uh, how the work is uh, dispatched among the workers, and that uh, cooperates uh, operating on the same sector uh, is the way to go. Can we go back to the moment that you got the idea for the platform? Yeah, uh, it was in uh, summer 2016 when the company Take It Easy uh, went bankrupt. Uh, there were uh, some strikes, some uh, strikes from the ex riders of uh, Take It Easy who wanted to uh, get the money back from the last weeks of operations. And at that time, I met with uh, Jérôme Pimot, who was an ex rider uh, from the platform, and we who um, yes, was saying, let's make co-ops. So that's when it all started. And, and how did you come in contact with him? Uh, I contacted him on Facebook. So uh, on Facebook groups, on <laughs> private Facebook groups. So yes, it, uh, we met on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> and then what happened then? Um, and then, uh, well, I, uh, I continue. I, 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 I met with him, uh, so I, I spoke with him on Facebook, and then we met for reals, and we really, we, we really matched it together. I think uh, we uh, like he was he was the writer, I was the developer, and uh, that's kind of uh, <laughs> of uh, like a true startup co-founders. One that is uh, more on the technical side, and one that is more on the big picture site and uh, so yes we met in person now we are friends <laughs> good to hear and and um where does scope cycle stands uh, right now uh right now we are i would say um, on the software side uh, we are at alpha phase so we are testing it for real operations uh in Brussels by a co-op named uh, Molen Bike, who also uh, uh, started when uh, Take It Easy uh, collapsed. So it's really it's really cool to have uh, the same roots, to have uh, the same origins. So we are, uh, I think, we are deeply uh, rooted together. Co-op cycle and Molen Bike. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, so they are using it to deliver newspapers, vegetables, uh, to organize their own day-to-day uh, uh, -day, uh, deliveries. They are finding a lot of bugs. <laughs> they are, sometimes it doesn't work, but that's uh, alpha software. And um, we are planning to use it in, uh, by a co-op in Bordeaux, named Les Courses Bordelais, in Poitiers, by uh, La Poite à Vélo, and also, the last news, that uh, big news, is that we are going to, I hope, um, to make it real in Madrid by uh, Raides Conderechos. Uh, we want to make a co-op in Madrid uh, on the same on the same kind of business. So it's really cool. It's it's beginning to uh, 
to be uh, used by people and uh, to be useful. So that's uh, um, a big reward uh, as a developer to uh, the things that we have made is um, actually used by people. And how does your your uh, organization uh, behind the platform look like? Uh, what kind of people are there in and how many? Uh, we are like uh, 20 people with uh, lots of different uh, skills. Uh, we are just two developers because uh, actually, well, uh, the software part is important, but it's not the most important. Is uh, there are lots of things to sort out or to help uh new new co-ops wanting to start their own business uh have uh, economic models ready have um, um have um, clues on how to start a co-op uh, what kind of papers you have to make uh, what kind of services you can you can propose should you deliver flowers? Should you deliver? Should you deliver only food, uh, and all of that? So we are a lot of people uh, talking about yes, economic models, uh, lo political lobbying, uh, also the licenses, the um, uh, to make uh, digital commons uh, for real. Uh, how to communicate about the project um, and that's all of that so yes we are trying to make to be the most uh, horizontal possible to, to be the most uh, democratic part uh, democratical uh, possible as we can be we we are trying to share all the decisions it's not easy all the days uh, but it's um, it's an ongoing process. <laughs> and, and, and and what do you think are the, are the, are the biggest challenges and also the biggest benefits of such a horizontal shared decision model? Uh, it's the 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 most benefits is that uh, yes everybody can be a part uh, of uh, of the organization from. Uh, the one that contributes all the days to the one that has only one hour to uh, to contribute per week because he has a job because uh, she has a life I don't know uh, but um, it's really it's something to experiment this is what uh, is cool uh, and yes of course uh, the the uh, the, the I don't. I wouldn't say uh, I, I love it. So, but uh, I wouldn't say it's a disadvantage. But of course, uh, we are not like um, uh, a company co-founded by two people. So yes, the decisions are really easy to take. You 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 look yourself in uh, in your eyes. You you say yeah. You, I'm I'm okay. You're okay. It's uh, all the decisions. They are uh, all the time. They take time to. We take time to take the decisions. We are uh, we are not on um, on a hurry. So yes, but it's maybe it's uh, one of the disadvantages. But I don't see that as a, as a disadvantage because it's uh, it's it, it it we learn all the days uh, how it is uh, to make a company all together. That, and that's what. Um, we want uh, the uh, the businesses using our software to be. I mean, all people uh, on the same level. Uh, so yes, it's uh, it's experiencing them. It's experiencing democracy for real, direct. And maybe also because you're all really busy with uh, exploring uh, the 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 fields. Maybe that's also the, the added value of of having all the conversations together because you are. Uh, so it's not really clear uh, what the future will like in one or two years. So maybe the added value of uh, you discussing and having all the decisions together, maybe it's on short term, some, sometimes a, a little bit frustrating because you can't make speeds, but it's also good because then you get input from different angles uh, yeah. on, on, the, on the decision you make. Yes, yes. Yes, we... Uh 
We are. Uh, we don't know. We don't know. I, I would say like, uh, like uh, Socrates says. Uh, I don't know anything. We don't know anything. We uh, we want. To, we need. And we want to learn uh, from all the people we met. The the good ideas, the good practices, the best practices. They are everywhere. Maybe maybe we are not making uh, it. Uh, maybe on some. Past, we are not uh, making the good stuff, so we change it. We are not. Uh, uh, it's an evolving uh, organization. So yes, it's, this, this is what is really cool, and uh, we. It's a. It's a. Um, it's a project to make all together, even outside our uh, small organization of friends uh, of uh, uh, who know each other in Paris. But also we have. We also have to speak. Uh, to establish trustful relationship with uh, the people using the software. So we, I think that's uh, experimenting platform co-op because if you want to make uh, multi, uh, uh, multi stakeholders uh, company with uh, uh, like thousands of people involved in decisions, uh, maybe it's a really cool experience uh, to 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 have this kind of uh, governance, uh, to experiment this kind of governance. You are not a, a cooperative right now. So at what way do you make sure that's the interests of the worker co-ops who are tapping into co-op cycle are secured for the future? Uh, right now it's about trust. We uh, we try to establish, uh, that's, this is why uh, we are taking our time because it takes time to establish trustful relationships with people. Uh, it's difficult to establish only online relationships, uh, to have a meaningful relationships, to get to know each other. Uh, right now it's based on trust, but uh, um, we are not there yet. But of, but of course, uh, Maybe it's something that uh, we we don't want to put some uh, surveillance or some uh, strong controls on what is done. Uh, but I don't know. It's, it's something we have to decide all together how to control uh, uh, in a certain sense uh, the ethics of the people uh, using the software. Maybe it will be something like. Uh, Signing a manifesto, agreeing on uh, on being like that, and establishing some kind of uh, uh, yearly uh, check. Uh, maybe as there, those are some ideas. It exists in uh, in France in the cooperative model. Each year you have to be reviewed by a, a central um, organism, which checks uh, if you are obeying to some uh, legal. Uh, Laws, if you are sharing the profits uh, according to the law, etc. So maybe it's uh, something like that. I don't know. You're now also in the phase where you're uh, having the experiments uh, together with the, with the work co-ops. Uh, what are the, the lessons you are learning right now from that? Uh, the lessons we are learning, at least <laughs> on the delivery side, is that uh, even with the uh, uh, a powerful software delivering stuff by bike is uh, all the days there are some uh, things that you didn't um, uh, I mean even with algorithm you have to phone your customer uh, there are problems uh, you you have a problem with a bike you have a problem finding an address so yes it's really human it's uh, it's not um, it's not something made by robots. So, maybe, so it's something really that we have learned from that. It's that uh, mm, the platform is here to help uh, the uh, the day-to-day -day activities of a delivery company, uh, but it uh, it doesn't fix all the problems. It's uh, yeah, there are really, uh, problems that are impossible to solve uh, with software. So the humans, uh, they are uh, still here for a long time. Uh, yes, that's one of the things we, are, uh, we have learned, yes. And maybe that's also because of the, like, the, the, the Liverpool Fedora, say, uh, uh, 
they are really focusing on a really uh, yeah uh, on a um, really strict model for delivery from consumer from restaurants to consumer uh, and they are really making all the processes really really uh, standard and I think also with the uh, by working together with the uh, existing worker co-ops uh, uh, th because they also have uh, mostly the, 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 the corporates as a clients the processes are, are, are also different and also yes. by then also uh, harder to 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 catch in a uh, algorithm and don't mind about the human factor yes 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 that's definitely uh, uh, that kind of thing but i believe even on even the big platforms that's not uh, so um, perfect there are problems uh, the food goes down uh, the 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 guy the, the guy or the girl delivering doesn't find the address um, there are lots of problems too. So it's not so easy. So yeah. there are, the, we can't replace the, the, the riders by robots right now. It'll be for a long time. So I think that's, that's a good thing. And you're also a member of the platform de Commune. Did you mm. say that right? Yeah. So, so, so can you tell a little bit more about uh, uh, that and also why you, uh, why you joined that? Yes, it's, uh, yes, it's platform en commun. It's uh, platforms in common. So we joined, it's like, um, it's like a gathering of all platforms uh, of a different kind. Uh, we want to make things together. So we joined this kind of, I don't know, a think tank organization um, because uh, that's what we want to make really. Is that for us, Platform Co-op is about sharing, sharing infrastructure, sharing tools, sharing, uh, like I said, best practices. So it's to learn from the others. Uh, so it's to, uh, to learn from, okay, you are a platform uh, helping refugees, uh, gather with people wanting to help them. Okay, you do that, interesting. Uh, how do you take your decisions? How do you organize your governance? Did you know that there is this kind of, uh, uh, tool, uh, ah, do you use Lumio? Yes, we use it like that. So that's about that and that's also to be stronger because uh, of course, yes, we are, we are small. We don't have money at that time. We are, don't have funds. So um, when you gather together, you can be stronger. You know, it's like uh, all the small fishes, uh, if they gather together, they, they can go against the big fish. So that's that's the point. And uh, about you personally, because you, uh, you said uh, uh, you're a developer. Yeah. I think you also can be called an activist. Yeah. Um, how is it for you that uh, because uh, you started this by by developing the platform and then you find people and then then it grew and also attention grew. Mm -hmm. How is it for you uh, uh, from your developer perspective to to now be involved with all the other different subjects around building a, a, a successful platform and a, and, a, and a successful community? Yeah, I think this is uh, really interesting and this is something that is maybe happening uh, to other people. I mean, for years, uh, well, as a developer, it's really important for me um, to have um, to, to to work on on the stuff that I I, I made uh, with my own hands and all of that and also uh, to be involved in something that makes sense for me because it, for of course for years I was employed in startups just interested in making money I was just like uh, told by the boss do that uh, do that do this button a bigger button uh, yes let's uh, can you display an advertisement on this blog and all of that? And I, yes, it was, uh, I, I really love developing, but sometimes in, um, I would say a standard startup, uh, what you, uh, your day-to-day -day work, it doesn't make sense. So this is why uh, it is interesting for me. And also uh, what is interesting is that um, I can do other things than just uh, writing code. I can, uh, uh, it's, uh, I've proven myself maybe uh, that I can do, yes, uh, uh, 
community management on Twitter. Uh, I can write uh, blog posts that uh, people are finding cool. And uh, yes, uh, and, and also I believe that, uh, uh, you know, right now, uh, the developers, they are the ones in the world earning the most money to make the platforms that are making people uh, more and more precarious. So the, the, the developers from Uber, the developers from uh, uh, all the big platforms, whatever, uh, they are earning like uh, lots of money. They are the... Um, uh, nowadays, being a developer is a, is a serious career perspective. There are, uh, in, in the past, you used to be like a geek uh, you used to be like a strange people nowadays. The developers they have Ferraris, they are getting lots of money, and but they are making. Uh, they are for now. They are not making uh, the world a better place. So uh, maybe we, maybe we, the developers, we have the power uh, to make the world a better place. So let's make it now. Uh, but it's happening. I believe. There are, I have heard about ex-workers from Facebook, from Google, saying that no, uh, the screens are bad, uh, we are designing uh, user interfaces to make you dependent, let's change this, let's, uh, let's, make, let's, let's use internet uh, for the good, not, for, not just to sell ads and, uh, and collect data. We can do we can do better with the internet. It's a, I love the internet. It's a it's a tool. Uh, it's a wonderful tool for the human for mankind. So, but we we just have to to make the good to make the good with the internet. Yeah. And talking about doing good with the internet with co-op cycle. Uh, let's let's say so so so. What are your what 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 are now your next steps? Uh, the next steps is um, making a stable release. So it's in, uh, it's now it's in the next month. So now we are really uh, in alpha. So let's go to beta phase uh, when we stabilize uh, the APIs. When we stop adding features, uh, because we, right now we are still adding features. Uh, there are features that are missing for the. Um, uh, in our roadmap for what is needed by uh, uh, the collective who want to use it. So let's add their features, stabilize it, uh, release the app for real on the App Store because right now it's hidden. Uh, and next, uh, we, re we really would like to uh, make uh, a food tech platform for real with uh, lots of uh, uh, with lots of cooperators, with lots of workers being part of something, and uh, the, 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 in any case, from the beginning, the the goal is to make an alternative, a real world alternative to uh, what exists today. So this, and but we have some small steps uh, before, some milestones. So yes, uh, the so right now the software is used. Um, then uh, we would like to propose it on several cities at the city level uh, and then build uh, also the, the big objective uh, is um, well I think build uh, like a European level organization with uh, all the people like uh, are crazy enough to follow us <laughs> so and uh, but this is uh, an ongoing process too and uh, let's say we talk again in in, in two years. In two years. In two years. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, where do you, where do you hope that co cycle stands? And and also when will will you be a happy uh, a happy man? Um, in two years, yes, I I would like to have passed all these milestones. Um, I hope we we are able. Um, we are. We have uh, sorted out the governance. Uh, there are it's we are in uh, several cities in Europe, uh, and uh, I really hope uh, everybody is happy with wha with what we are making. Uh, is making a living out of it, um, and 
you know that and in two years you for sure you know that there is an alternative and even uh, one of my uh, uh, craziest dream is that uh, all the big platforms have disappeared they have fallen down like uh, take it easy and uh, there are other alternatives uh, spreading everywhere okay good luck with that and talk to you in two years yes thank you thank you, thank you.